Welcome back, and today we want to talk about a world champion, a three-time, a three-time world champion. He was one of the most amazing writers in Speedway history, one of the greats. His name is Eric Gunderson. Eric was born October 8th, 1959, in Denmark. He was another Denmark writer. I think Ole Olsen inspired him. Between Eric and Ole, they won six world championships. Ole was the Great Dane, and Eric must have been the Flying Dutchman. Eric started racing for the Cradley Heathens in 1979 when he was just 20 years old. And he met Bruce Penhall. Bruce the Fox Penhall. And they became good friends and teammates. And I remember hearing Bruce say that they were just hanging out sometimes, laughing, cracking jokes. They were good friends. And then when Bruce left unexpectedly after the 1982 World Championship, Eric took over the helm as captain all the way for like seven or eight more years. Eric was the captain of the Cradley Heathens. Also, Eric raced for one team for 10 seasons. He raced his entire British League career with the Cradley Heathens. That's pretty incredible. Usually people bounce around a little bit, but Eric was loyal to the Cradley Heathens. Eric was more than just a British League Speedway rider for 10 seasons. He was a back-to-back -back world champion, 1984 and 1985. And then he won his last world championship in 1988 in Denmark. was a two-time world long track champion in 1984 and 1986. He was a two-time winner of the British League Riders Champion. He was an eight-time champion of the KO Cup. He was a three-time 21 and under Danish champion. He was a two-time world's best pairs champion. He was an eight-time champion of the KO Cup.
like I mentioned, Eric was just an amazing writer. Talented, gifted, I guess they make him pretty good in Denmark. And he won the 1984 World Championship and the 85 World Championship in England. He was a five-time Danish champion. He was a seven-time World Team Cup winner. And he was a two-time Golden Helmet Cup champion. In 1988, they had the World Championship in Denmark. There's a truck driving over there. Hey, how you doing? And that was the last, it was actually the first championship they had at the Volgens Champion Speedway. That was in Denmark. And Eric Gunderson was the hometown favorite because he was from Denmark. And he went ahead and won that before a packed crowd in Denmark. And everyone was cheering for their hometown hero, Eric Gunderson. Just two weeks after the 1989 World Championship, Eric was racing in Denmark. He was invited to a special invitational. And in one race, he had gate four. And like always, Eric went ahead and outgated everybody and was first place in the first turn. And suddenly, his bike like seized up. It stopped working. And the rider from behind Eric hit him very hard. And it was a horrible crash and Eric got his head run over. It was a serious accident. Eric was rushed to the hospital. They thought he was going to die. He was in a coma for three days. The doctor said if he survives, he will never walk again. One thing in life, you cannot underestimate the heart of a champion. Against all odds, Eric went ahead and walked. He said to the doctor, you're wrong, and he got up and he walked. It was difficult, but Eric Gunderson is a champion. And he went ahead and wheeled himself to walk. He went on to manage the Danish Speedway team. He refused to give up. Eric Gunderson is an amazing world champion and a world champion in life. I think all Speedway riders have this deep, quiet fear of having a horrible crash and ending up like Eric Gunderson. And Eric Gunderson bravely stood up to his challenge and he conquered it. So for that, we really commend you, Eric. Just an amazing human being. One of the greatest Danish riders ever. One of the greatest Speedway riders and human beings. So thank you so much for watching this Eric Gunderson blog. And we just commend Eric and we tip our hats to you just an amazing human being so thank you so much there's other videos right here you might want to check out and we appreciate you for joining the blog today and subscribing so please like share subscribe and always ring that bell